Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, we are going to continue to study conditional sentences in English. In this lesson, we are going to look at the third conditional. In a type 3 conditional sentence, the IF clause is in the past perfect. And the main clause is the perfect conditional or the perfect continuous conditional. If this thing had happened, that thing would have happened. You should have learned by now that in all conditional sentences, the order of the clauses is not fixed. You may have to rearrange the pronouns and adjust punctuation when you change the order of the clauses, but the meaning is identical. Here are some examples of type 3 conditional sentences. If it had rained, you would have gotten wet. You would have gotten wet if it had rained. You would have passed your exam if you had worked harder. If you had worked harder, you would have passed your exam. I would have believed you if you hadn't lied to me before. If you hadn't lied to me before, I would have believed you. What is the purpose or the function of a type 3 conditional? Well, the type 3 conditional refers to an impossible condition in the past. These sentences are truly hypothetical and unreal because it is now too late for the condition or the result to exist. There is usually some implication of regret with a type 3 conditional sentence. The time is the past. The situation is hypothetical. Here are some more examples. If I had worked harder, I would have passed the exam. The reality, I didn't work hard, I didn't pass the exam. If I had known you were coming, I would have baked a cake. The reality, I didn't know you were coming, so I didn't bake a cake. I would have been happy if you had called me on my birthday. Once again, you didn't call me and I'm not happy. In type 3 conditional sentences, you can also use modals in the main clause instead of would to express the degree of certainty about the income. Here are some examples. If I had worked harder, I might have passed the exam. Okay, now you understand how to form the third conditional in English. So I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck.